Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. They are talking about Dodds in for a reform. And they're not talking about what I'm going to be talking about, but since the word Dodds, since the name Dodds came up, I had a question. They're talking about the parole system and that kind of stuff. But I have a question. Is there medical apartheid being practiced at Dodds Prison in Barbados? Because many an ex-inmate has mentioned to me that they were being offered pills or to sleep, to be comfortable, to whatever people that were in there accused, not convicted of any crime, just accused. And they were almost expected to take pills and some who were convicted now. The ones who were convicts, they were saying they were sentenced and they're spending their time there for whatever duration. They were almost forced, not almost forced, they were forced to take pills to make them quote unquote have a nice sleep at night, go to sleep. So when they come out and they're no better, when they come out and they are of the same mindset. And every time someone goes to prison on a sentence, they're being asked to avail themselves of the facilities, programs, whatever programs, you know, rehabilitation programs, anger management programs, whatever, you know, you can take some subjects, whatever. But then the people who are there, they're saying there are no programs. I had no option to do any kind of remedial studies, not, nothing like that exists at Dawes Prison. But what does happen is they offer you pills. They're offering you pills. So are they offering you pills? Make sure that you swallow them because they can search the garbage and they can make sure that you're not putting it in the garbage. Well, maybe if you can, you probably could flush it. I don't know if there are there toilets inside the cells. I don't know, but they watch you. They give you those pills and they are watching you and the pills are not made in Barbados. In fact, sometimes the pills that are being given to you are given to you by Russians or someone who is not even speaking English, they're foreigners, like foreigners, foreigners, like white, white, blue eyed, white haired foreigners are at the prison. And there are other facilities giving you pills. Now, it's only a question. Okay, That's what I'm, I think I'm here to do that. Just pose these questions. Is medical apartheid being practiced at Dodd's prison at the hotel in St. Philip. We know it happened during slavery. We know that slaves were operated on and, you know, it was a hit or miss kind of thing, usually a miss kind of thing, but then they perfected it and they did it without anesthesia and that kind of stuff. We know that they were practicing on slaves. But my question is, are they doing it on inmates at the prison now today 2024 this is sherry veronica